try to load this ahead of time and set some settings, but it starts with this. Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system, Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged, the shipwrecker. The labor is extremely dangerous, but for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. Fortunately, continuous blockades across the central plains, Confederacy continued to put pressure on celestial and coastal cities. The incorporation of equipment to service paved the way to the galaxy, to the galaxy program. Update your application status. Greetings, citizens LF2911805. Congratulations, you have been accepted into Lynx Corporation's pioneering Pave the Way to the Galaxy program. Your selection was based on above average physical and cognitive ability. You are assigned to Service Station 42, designation Morrigan. Demonstrate the ability to build and grow up a profitable operation. And a number of exciting opportunities await you. Remember, employment in this program is at the sole discretion of Lynx Corporation and can be revoked at any time. Acts of malice or insubordination will not be tolerated. <laughs> Upon signing this form, please proceed immediately to the nearest Lynx Corporation shuttle hub for transport to the worksite. Finalize the following pages to confirm employment. Account name. Profanity or anti-corporate slang jargon is not accepted. Selected revival package. We proudly offer our Everwork asset replacement program to new employees. Below the details of your selected spare package. Terran Health Board Advisory Cloning has a 0.02 chance of DNA corruption. Good. Spells unlimited. Spare fee 150,000. Voice identification. Verify the voice file you submitted to your original application. Linksbox ID is a security measure that protects your data. Okay. Orientation preference. Select orientation scheme for your personal mobility unit. Proper settings may be improved by up to 40%. Meal preference. Our food processes serve a variety of diet preferences. Food costs may vary over time. Chicken, plastic free, vegetarian. Entomotarian? Wait, what the hell is entomotarian? Urban Dictionary, someone who has a plant-based diet but also eats insects, <laughs> similar to a pesco vegetarian. <laughs> uh, plastic free. Please agree to each statement. I have no criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones and the record in the Jovian frontier is acceptable. I am not a member of and have never associated with workers' union or other labor interest. <laughs> I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having a McCullough lung. Is that also a thing? McCullough's lung. Chadley McCullough syndrome. Rare genetic syndrome deafness characterized by severe to profound bilateral sensory neural hearing loss. Complex brain malformation. Interesting. I have no commercial or real estate interest on Luna, in Asteroid Belt, or in the nation state of Arizona. <laughs> I will bring a positive attitude and problem solving mindset to work every day. I understand and accept the health risks associated with long term exposure to a Vanderval field. <laughs> I will vote for Chancellor Jones in the Pan American Senate election. Terms and 
ambitions. As of the ninth, oh, it's too long. As of the ninth day of November 23, 29, the effective days between Lynx Corporation Salvage Division and Lynx, incorporated under the laws of the Sterling Commission and myself, citizen LF, and the the employee Lynx is pleased to offer the employee the role of shipbreaker, the role beginning with the title of trainee. The employee understands that they must travel to Link's shuttle hub for transit to the worksite no more than 12 hours after signing this contract. Physical or mental hub and route to the shuttle hub is not covered. The employee should be aware that the status of their employment is at the sole discretion of Link's. This agreement includes enrollment in the Link's Employment Financial Relief Program to accommodate the costs associated with employee onboarding, as well as the recurring costs associated with the performance of the employee's role. The full breakdown of those costs will be provided to the employee following onboarding at the work site. Until such time as the employee has paid in full, the profits from the salvage activities will automatically go towards the balance at the following percent 100. The employee here by granting sole operation authority of the employer's existing financial accounts in order to facilitate the participation in the Lynx Employment Financial Relief Program. Oh my god. I hope someone reads this and summarizes it or something. I have had the opportunity to discuss this matter with and obtain advice from your private attorney. I have had sufficient time to and have a carefully read and fully understand all the provisions. Yeah, I did. Of course I did. future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. Mm -hmm. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather Exeter founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail game. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The railgates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity. To be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, heed your superiors, believe in the Link's vision. Do this, 
and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program, the greatest Herb. gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck. It's kind of creepy. Yes, I want a fresh start. Yay! Video observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. <laughs> yeah. Please note, as outlined in Section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Why? Beginning extraction now. Why? Extraction analysis and backup complete. Thank you. Beginning spare generation. If our workers' replacement successful, the sequence stored generations, it is now safe to die. <laughs> Shipwreckers are responsible for the cost of biomaterials used in the Everwork process. An additional fee is required for death to occur outside working hours. You may now proceed with salvage training. Good luck. <laughs> they charge me 510,000 for transportation to work sites. Seat selection. Tesla passage to luggage handling <laughs> gratuity. Automated onboarding procedure, life genetic backup storage, biometrical refrigeration, equipment setup, equipment security deposit, degrossing, delousing, habitation fee, on site training, helmet interface software update, meal prep, annual, waste management, human, premium, immigration, duty fee, entertainment, library fee, tracking implant fee, salvage rights fee. Financial account setup fee, account maintenance fee, administration fee, display of fees report 750. <laughs> that is a sign of being prepared. Jesus. Buck. One billion, one and a quarter billion. Mix advises against using the extremely high powered split saw to slice any manner of baked goods. Extracting of reactor reactor from its protective housing will cause it to begin melting down and act quickly to secure your salvage. Alright, alright, breathe, breathe. Now when I can finally access uh, options, let's go over this thing. Language English, vibration off, disable background controller inputs, screen shake off, HUD on. Object outline, subtitle size, give it bigger. Data collection, no. Button mapping. Fast forward. Fast backward. Fast right. Why is this? Do they have to make setting up so? Freaking annoying. Send. Descend. Roll right. Roll left. Break. Simultaneous key only. What? Look up, look down, look left, look right. Grapple. Equipped grapple. Grapple hold. Retract beam. Swing upwards. Swing downwards. Why is it stupid so much?
push. Actually, push this. Place tethers. <coughs> Place tethers. Cancel tethers. So delete this. Cutter. Equip cutter. Execute cut. Rotate cut angle. Then toggle scanner. Scanner. I think I might want the big mouse for this. Big mouse. This is still the same, break is still the same. Grapple. Hold, retract, swing, push. Place tethers, cancel tethers. Cutter, rotate cut angle. Scanner, toggle scanner. Cycle modes, sure. Interact. Helmet light. Pause task list, right hand grab, left hand grab. What is this? Select. Wait, why did you complain about this one? Select tool menu. Who's using Q? Swap tool mode. Who's using tab? Too many navigate up, down, HUD off. Confirm. Decline. Start. Back. Navigate up. Scroll up, scroll down, scroll left, scroll right, tab right, tab left. What the hell? Misc action. Cycle right, cycle left. Demo charge. Okay. Orientation, control sensitivity, mass sensitivity, give me a bit more roll sensitivity, video resolution, full screen windowed, Async on, tab screen effects, texture quality high, dynamic light range, dynamic light shadows, graphics quality. Enable anti aliasing, master volume, music volume, uh, 
Speech volume. Cinematic volume. Recent volume. Save the settings. Here's a dolly. Repair kit. Okay. You're okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. There you go. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first spare. Hey, anyway, welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of other shipbreakers in this region. This year's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kitten. All right, let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator up above. Yeah. That's it. So that's where all the salvage gets collected to be picked up by the transfer crew. Just in case you ever turn yourself out of whack, use your roll thrusters to reorient. All right, now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Okay, maybe a little bit less sensitivity. On the mouse. Um. Excuse me. Kind of slow. Also, why is the rotation reversed? Because I reversed it. Used to be a cutter myself, you know. There were some uh, complications with my last revive. Huh? Those are early days in the tech, though, so never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip and then test them out, why don't you? Looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. We're gonna clean this crap up. I'm gonna activate the furnaces. Now. Dang, dang. Would you just... There you go. Okay. Now these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. <laughs> so, try not to drift into them by accident. Okay, let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go, and move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, It'll pull it down towards it. Check out your HUD when you've got an object grappled. It shows you the mass of the object and whether you can move it or not. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. Huh. Let's move on to the bigger nanocarbon chunks now, shall we? 
You may have already noticed that these are too heavy to move. Scrapples. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. Activate the scanner. This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right. Controls give me the go-ahead to get you cutting. You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. Your cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. It's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-g surgery cutter? Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. Let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor. Look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate right. Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right. We're in business. Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. Come on. Cut points for us to take advantage of. We're gonna have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Hang on, hang on. I want this piece. Come here. Come. Ugh. Come in, get in there. Get in there. Deposit accepted for process. Okay, what's that? Aluminum. Equip the split saw. Equip cutter. Swap tool. Now try changing the angle of the cuts. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator. So you can track how much work there is left to do. Yay. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Carter. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. Um. Get in that furnace. Raw material process. Credit the Great first shift in the yard, Cutter. Let's head on over to your hab and I'll show you the ropes there. Fly on over back to the master jack. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. When you get there, head on in and we'll get started. Hmm. 
want to clean up this place. Raw material deposited. I don't want to go back to that. I did lose a piece, I think. Well, it went off into deep space. No smoking. Oh, really? Okay. Can't you grab something? Point two percent. Hey, but I may have a million dollars. So be some of a certification review. Yay! Level has been achieved. License level increased. MP? What is MP? When working on a ship that has returned from the frontier, be sure to check every nook and cranny for dangerous AI nodes. <clears throat> Hello ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. Has everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. Now sleep tight there, Cutter. Oh, the call. Live last salvage. <laughs> Hello ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Unread messages. Good morning ship breaker. Reminder, minimum payments are due by 10 a.m. solo standard time each day. Failure to pay on time is considered a breach of contract. Thank you for your hard work and cooperation. Rise and shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. Ready to continue your training? Okay, let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now, let's get caught up on career progression and certification. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. Okay. Clear as mud? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out, too. All right. Let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. Uh, ship 2, Shipbreaker 934652. One blinks at you. Certification system is a proprietary career progression tool for all of our shipbreakers. It provides each employee with a fulfilling and promising future as part of the Lynx family. Certification ranks range from 1 
as the entry point all the way up to rank 30, which is reserved only for our most accomplished employees. It is advised to view the certification tab in your hub terminal as a guide to gain access to more tools, upgrades, ships, and hazard levels. Proving yourself as a loyal and skilled employee will reward you with fresh new challenges in the walk day. The walk bay. Good luck, shipbreaker. Tools, scanner, structure mode is pre-installed in every Optic 3WL cross spectrum scanner unit in the standard issue Lynx worksuit. This mode is a core part of the shipbreaker toolkit as it lets you assess the structural makeup of a ship, clearly demarcating hull panels, structural beams, and important cut points. Structure mode is the default mode when you activate your scanner unless you were previously using a different mode. Employee Financial Relief Program Everything important and good in this world comes with a price. Each privileged person who joins our family to become a shipbreaker comes with significant cost. Fortunately, Lynx shoulders the burden of these costs temporarily in order to let you hit the ground running and begin training, stress-free. This cost sharing is handled through our innovative Employee Financial Relief Program. Very innovative. This program covers all essential onboarding costs and fees, including the cost of training and equipment borrowed from Lynx Salvage. Also included is the fees for the Everwork Asset Replacement Program, which enables safe and limited career progression and growth through the power of Lynx technology. In return, as your skills and expertise grow, all the value that you earn as a shipbreaker will be automatically deducted from the amount you owe to the Financial Relief Program. This ensures that the borrowed amount is paid off as quickly as possible so you can get on with building yourself a brighter future. Yay! I don't think I've, I've even dented that debt. Huh. Stinger. Stinger license. Novice. Oh. Stinger license, splitsaw license, grapple license. Grapple push module unlocked. Scanner scan mode structures unlocked. Mackerel station hopper unlocked. Mackerel light cargo unlocked. Grapple Tether module, at rank 4. Upgrade, up, range upgrade, Tether upgrade. Okay. Or 5. Yeah. This screen shows which ships you have access to. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got, or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. The Little Roberts. Station Hopper. This one's worth a bit more. Okay. The air your links have unit is replenished every two weeks for consistent freshness. Fun fact, the word sticker originates from the word stick, which means to stick to. She's all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank 3. Now try to remember, nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, hmm. Cutter. We were out. Compartment, cabin, compartment. Oh yeah, the glass is annoying, right? You know what, let's start from the back. Helmet light. On the battery. Rust of cap. Cut point.
Oh, it's getting sucked in. Good. Valuable objects processed. Credits awarded. Okay, okay, I need to break this thing. Um, mold swap. Above cut grade? What? How am I supposed to get it out then? I know these ships look intimidating to scrap at first. But trust me, soon enough, you'll be stripping the huge gecko glass freighters like nothing. Got my star salvaging back down Earth side in the droid scrapping biz. You know what made me come up here? <laughs> one day, we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They are always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothballed for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI ban took effect, probably bought the whole lot for pennies thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother Jed. Even had the same slack-jawed expression. <laughs> now, Jed and I wasn't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. I tell you what, it's a sight better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Holler if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. We were out. How the hell do I... Destroyed panel aluminum? What are you talking about? It's glass. Nope, nope, nope. Get back here. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Aluminum. There's a bit more glass here. Did I 
did I do it? been taken apart. Coming apart now. We're supposed to take this whole thing. That's possible. So get in there. done yet. Yeah, it's getting sucked in. Come here. This no nano carbon. I suppose I can cut this. No. So what's holding you together? not tracking.
deposited, right? You're depositing, right? Get in there. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. At least they will be paid. Right, let's grab that one. This part actually is first. missing from this one. Let me for a second take a look at this thing. Compartment. Higher reinforced support beam. Nanocarbon panel, non-conductive panel of carbon allotropes built to withstand heat cold and extreme impacts impossible to cut through normal means. Requires cut level two. What's holding you together? Cut level 3. What's that? Aluminum? What's that? Ah, destroyed panel, oops.
Okay. Get out of there. Too heavy? Might be too heavy. these two. That's furnace material. I'm not losing any material over here, right? Let's start with the front. Actually, let's start with the left side. Nope, 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 nope.
you stay. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. What did I do? in. I managed to pull it before. Cost me a lot. <sighs> well, I got two pieces now. Come here. Material deposited.
Oof, okay. Get in there. I got a sticker. Is that a thing? No, that's not a thing. That's a thing. Make sure to clean up after yourself. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. That's it. I think that's everything. Ten MP eight. LT, one repair kit, destroy 0.5%, remaining 0.2%. Made 2 million. I can't grab that. What did I miss? One percent. I think I've used as much of the buffalo as I can. I don't see anything else. Destroy some aluminum. Well, not bad for second day on the job. Your hard work is not going to notice. You have achieved the prestigious rank of recruit. LT, one repair kit. Links tokens. Some additional link spaces can be upgraded for greater resistance to fire, electricity, and coolant. Lynx uses an innovative top down corporate structure pioneering pioneered centuries ago to ensure strong company performance. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Yay, sticker. Mm -hmm. Minimum payments are due by 10 a.m., yeah. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. Can I stick something? The mockerel heavy. A bus model built to transport heavy industrial goods or hazardous materials. Gaffel Stein can be upgraded to improve handling of its heavy structural elements. On behalf of my former colleague Grenda, we apologize for misstating the feel efficiency of this model. In fact, it is positively 
adequate for the transport needs of many companies. Uh, Lynx is committed to ensuring shipwrecks are exposed to hazard levels in ships only according to their proficiency level and median estimated emotional adjustment time should death occur related to these hazards. If you have reached clearance for hazard level 2, you may begin to encounter fire hazards in the form of fuel or flaming objects. Attention causing Lynx equipment or salvage goods to be damaged by fire hazards will result in credit deductions as will damage to or destruction of your Lynx spell. Link's kiosk is one your know, one-stop shop for all your shipbreaking needs. It dispenses all the items that any self-respecting shipbreaker wouldn't leave the have without. At the kiosk, shipbreakers can find the following courtesy of our affiliate suppliers: oxygen tanks, thrust and thrust of fuel refills, med kits, tool repair kits, soul suit patch kits, demo charges, tether cartridges. All of these are available for purchase at market rates and already factor in your point one point seven percent employee discount. Genuine patch kits manufactured in Damascus, Earth. To the only. <laughs> Sticker is not on my suit, it's not on my gear. Oh, the packets. Yeah, I'm fine. Wait. Laser cutter. Split beam. This T requirement not met. Oh, this is the rank I need to achieve. can have a sticker. Oh, I don't have any of these. Detail oriented, I have one. Yay. <sighs> okay, let's do another one. Macro Station Hopper. No, I'm done with this ship. Macro Heavy Cargo. King of Mahoney. So I took the station hopper transport and now light cargo transport. Let's let's try that one. Clear the Sabbath Bay. I mean so it will be forfeit. Yes. Whenever buying medkits, are able to repair any manner of physical injury. All right, hold up a second there, Cutter. Because you've increased your rank, we're going to give you the next grade of ship. Now this one will be full of machinery, electronics, furniture, all stuff that Links can collect and resell. You're going to want to throw those items on the barge. That's uh, the big green thing below you. Go ahead, have a look. Yeah, I looked at the boat. Toss any valuable objects or components down there. Don't worry about breaking anything. There's a dampening field that'll catch everything. Works great. Most of the time. 
Nice work. Got that pretty quickly. Now, let me teach you about the kiosk. Once the training wheels come off, Link's regulations mean you gotta cover your own oxygen and fuel costs. That's the way things go. Turning it on now. Let's give it a go. Now, no need to panic. They'll last you a good while. But if you end up running out, you gotta top up at the kiosk over there. Let's have a look. Okay. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Oh, so everything I take adds to my debt. Got it. <clears throat> I don't think I need anything right now unless you can tell me how to repair the suit. Thank you for your purchase. Okay. Good stuff, Connor. Pretty easy, right? Alright, I'll leave you to it. We'll chat again when you've hit the next rank. Weave her out. Ah! Phew. The glass is dirty. What the hell was that? Thank you. Okay, that's one half, one section. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Thank you. 
Hadi oraya yapalım işte. Have a nice Come here. not moving yeah I need to get into the side panels glass Material 
accepted. Credits assigned. More glass. I didn't know it could do that. Hey, Carter. I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your O2 stat. We were out. Sure, sure. This thing move now. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Nope. Over there, then. Material deposited. Account credit applied. What are they doing? They just disappear? This one disintegrates. Okay.
valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Salvage goal obtained. Additional rewards assigned. Come here. And you. Valuable object accepted for processing. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Okay, so how do I cut this thing up? We'll just toss it in the furnace as is. Get. It's not moving. What do I do with this piece of crap? Damn overload. Get in there. Are we good? Material accepted. Well, I didn't see anything worth keeping.
Looks like we're done. Yeah, I destroyed a bit of glass and aluminum, sue me. Hey, 2.4 million, leaving 25,000 behind. That's not bad. Yay, I'm a beginner. License upgraded. You will. Your hot display is an indicator on panels which would cause a decompression event if cut. Ooh, good to know. Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%, which is why it's so important to always give 110%. <laughs> Uh, links shipyard admin, new ship, Mechel Exolab. Typically used for display research, the Mechel Exolab is outfitted with a wide variety of scientific instrumentation. Extract this fragile equipment carefully and be aware of electrical hazards. My predecessor, Ted, incorrectly stated that there were frequent electrocutions aboard Exolabs. Actually, those electrocutions are still being investigated. Aha. Uh -huh. As a level 3, you are now qualified to handle electrical hazard during salvage. Due to regulatory rollbacks introduced in 2299, Link Salvage does not do preliminary exam ships to disconnect potential electrical hazards. We believe our shipwreckers are well suited to handle such dangers and the long term time savings are highly beneficial. Electrical components may arc when removed, impacted, or damaged, causing other objects to be electrified, including the shipwrecker themselves. This can cause damage to the Link's spare and Link's equipment. Caution is advised. You should access Mechel Station Hopper and Light Cargo. Klein Mechel is the most common ship model in the colonies. The Light Cargo model is used for civilian cargo and can contain a wide variety of objects. The Station Hopper transport is outfitted with air terminals. Electrical safety is advised. Our ships are simply the best. Listen, safety for reports are wrong. Uh, not bad. Cutting tool handle, cattle tool handle, daily fees. Yay! Links, safety third! Yeah. Hey, Kerr. I'm looking at the stats coming from your bay, and it's looking like you're really gonna make your way around here. It's time to learn about how to upgrade your equipment, and some of the more advanced tools you'll soon have at your disposal. Head on over to your workbench in the equipment room and we'll see about upgrading your tools. Yay, two more stickers. Make your time count. I'm gonna read this straight from the manual. <clears throat> Links rewards hard work and learning by giving shipbreakers access to tool improvements and new equipment. Tether module. Reaching salvage goals is essential for becoming a master shipbreaker. Basically, they want to make sure you prove yourself first, before giving you the big guns. Completing salvage goals will net you shiny Links tokens. Use those tokens here to get yourself some new gear. So let's get going and learn about one of the most important tools in a shipbreaker's toolbox. Tethers. Go ahead and purchase them. An enhancement to the standard handheld utility graph of the contiguous Vandervals tether field system, or simply tethers, reduces the need for multiple shipbreakers to move a single heavy object. A versatile tool in the hands of skilled workers, the introduction of tethers led to the second greatest increase in salvaging efficiency in Link's history, only losing out to real protein breakfast meal. Discontinued in 2262. 
Tethers are easy and intuitive to use. Press and hold your grapple secondary trigger to place the first contact point, drag the connection to another object, and release the trigger to complete the connection. Tethers are automatically retract to pull connected objects together. They can also be used to pull objects into the processor, furnace, or barge for efficient and quick salvaging. And that's all I get, right? Misc action one. No, okay. station okay this has been kind of slow actually um, I'm gonna stop I don't know when I'm actually gonna get back to it because uh, it's kind of really slow I like the concept though Let's see, uh, I'll see if I have more time to play tonight or tomorrow. Uh, sauce caught. Merely playing this, pretty sure it gets interesting at some point. Um, well, I guess I'll have to see when I can get back to it, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go feed the dogs, get some dinner, something like that. So, till next time, stay good, have fun, and switch, and it didn't switch.